Come back, come over here. Let's meet my buddy Ethan. No. How you doing? No. no let's follow him into his office. Yeah. Can you tell the guys what you do? Um, we print stickers. You heard it here, folks. He prints stickers. You're really important to us. Just wait. <laughs> Just, wait. <laughs> Just wait, guys. So the plan for today is we're gonna hit uh, the Freedom Factory, the new name for DeSoto Speedway after Garrett purchased it. Woo! Basically, we're doing the actual shoot on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Uh, but today, we're just gonna go grab all the B-roll that we need and look around the property and plan some shots and logistics and stuff like that. So, we're gonna head there right now. Nevada. I'm good. So last night, Garrett stopped by to give us the keys because he's out of town today. Um, and there's literally like 40 keys and I feel confident because we took a video but I'm not feeling that confident that Garrett knows what all the keys do but we're gonna go there we'll figure it out I mean it's just keys and locks we'll be fine um, I figured out the rig last night pretty heavy but your boys deltoids are so friggin refined that it's crazy it's what all right so here's the first gate where I have to tackle the first set of keys this will be fun all right guys, so here's the friggin' keys. I mean, more keys than a janitor to a high school. So let's go see. Hold on, I gotta grab my phone. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one does what. All right, so right I have here. a three minute video of Garrett telling me what the keys are. This looks like a Miata key. Front gate, the big round lock, okay. All right, so that doesn't work. Uh, All right. Okay. Um, so that's good. Uh, all right. So he's giving us the keys, he's out of town, and we are we have all the keys for the entire property to go do that. Got you covered. Good man. So he probably looks sketchy doing all this stuff. Well, I was just getting ready to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. You have freaking success. Yeah, nice. All right, cool. So we have the next key, we know what to do. Can't find the right key for that one. Um, we're gonna drive around to the other side and we pretty sure we have the key for that side. So we're just gonna go through that way rather than walking through this part of the track. So let's go do it. Aha, uh -huh. there it is. All right, so what we're using today is the Sony FS5 with the Ronin MX. And this is gonna be the same rig that we're using in the back of the truck that you guys will see later on. Um, yeah, we're gonna be using the same rig for all the B-roll and stuff so it has the same color and uh, has that same look and feel. So we are just gonna do a little bit of looking around and figuring out you know, what kind of B-roll we want and stuff like that. But Keith's gonna do some scouting, I'm gonna do some scouting and we're just gonna grab some clips for the next couple hours. Um, but yeah, we'll show you the cool spots as we find them. I'm testing out these blades, dudes. We're gonna be using this for a few of the shots on Tuesday and Wednesday. So I would definitely want to get comfortable with them on the uh, the surface. And I'll also use it to grab a few of the B-roll shots. And they are pretty sick blades. They're they're three wheel, 110 mil, so you can like hit shit and they go really fast. They're a good overall blade for using for any type of filming or something like that. Woo! You wanna do one you wanna do once down the hill just try Oh yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna do a little warm-up. If I could be filming like this as they're drifting, game over. Alright guys, so I got the blades on. What I'm thinking is that if I can hug the outside wall on the bank turns and they can do like shallow low-lying drifts right here I think it'll look really freaking cool dude my stamina game is way less than uh, needed right now 
I'm thinking either that I can hug the top edge of the wall and uh, really focus on them at the lower edge, or I can just enter via this hill right here and really hug the bottom as they're actually drifting more towards the wall. So if we can successfully do that, I think that'll look really, really cool. And it's an easy shot to get. All you're doing is throwing on roller blades so that you're able to use the Ronin and everything. But we're gonna try it now with the full rig and see how, it's, see how I can handle it, really. We're gonna feel what the surface feels like because we have a few, a few shot ideas. We have a few shot ideas that we are gonna uh, try to practice right now with uh, the roller blades on. So we're gonna see what it feels like real quick. This is not a good idea. Bastard. This time we're gonna try it with the camera. Let's get it done. Swapped in the setup. Uh, we're gonna stick to the mirrorless setup for the next few shots because they're all inside and it's pretty dark inside. So I'm not sure if Garrett has the electric power turned back on, but uh, damn, he's looking like he just robbed the bank. It's cold out here. So we're gonna set up the A7S2 on this Ronin right here and go into that barn and then also cross track. There's a mini pit section where they have you know food and all these other buildings that we're going to capture some b-roll in all right so now that we're done with the filming for the actual track and there's a warehouse over there that we just finished. Now we're gonna do this front half where it's, I guess they're gonna be using it for all the ticket booths. And then there's this alleyway that has all like merch booths, food, things like that. So we're just gonna to touch upon that last section and then we should be good to go. Maybe throw the drone up one more time real quick. We're gonna close out today. We just finished all the B-roll stuff. And then uh, you'll kind of jump back into Tuesday and Wednesday, full behind the scenes of how we did the shoot with Garrett and Vaughn and the whole team. So it's gonna be sick. What's better than a dozen donuts on a nice hot summer day? You. Okay, that sprinkle is mine, please. I need that sprinkle. Give, give me the sprinkle. Give me the sprinkle. Give me the sprinkle, Dan. Thank you. No, 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 thank you. No, 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 thank you. Hey, did we bring any drinks or are we gonna die out here today? We're probably gonna die out here today. So we will put you in the five and the cams and stuff over there. Oh, you don't want it? No, yeah, it's just quick. You don't want me, I'm out of here. I'm done with you. And then I think he was. Yeah, front end shot time.
does. Did your foot just drown it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> factory date two um, we are going to be hooking up the wireless transmitting system uh, Hollyland Tech great great product we're really thrilled with it really impressed with it um, what we're going to be doing is uh, I have a simple screen set up it's going to be mounted onto the windshield and then this is also going to be mounted on top of the roof over here Chris will be sitting back here along with Daniel the guy behind the camera um, they'll be sitting back here getting all the video, getting all the footage, uh, while me, in the front, I can communicate with the driver, tell them exactly where they need to go, tell them to stop, go, stuff like that. So, I'm going to set this up, I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. This one we'll be putting onto the roof, just so I can get a more clear of a signal from the camera, or from the TV up here, to the camera in the back. So, as you can see, we got this all set up. Um, little put screen in the front. Got the Hollyland Tech at the top. It's gonna be an awesome day. That was horrible. I just wanna give a big shout out to our new sponsor, Budweiser. They're an up and coming beer company. Uh, it's all craft beers. Um, they hooked us up with a few sturdy racks for today, so I'm just hoping that we could finish them off before Vaughn Gaten Jr. gets here. Yo, Chris, you know, whatever, dude. So we're here for day three. We have Vaughn and Finnegan coming in today. Yesterday we crushed it. We did so much kind of, not really B-roll, but a lot of the filler stuff showcasing all the vehicles. We got a ride along in all the cars. Um, definitely a lot of fun. We jumped the X3s. What is happening over there? What was I saying? I don't remember. We're gonna crush it. Yeah. Go team.
I'll come up and hard park against him. I'd be like, what do you think you're doing? And he'd be like, this is the Freedom Factory, right? It's like, don't ever come in here that slow again. <laughs>
about is drifting. Wah! There was the Caprice doing burnout. Wah! And through the golf cart. Wah! It was sick. He almost fell out of the truck. Chris's shirt flew off. Now a helicopter's about to show up and I'm about to parachute out of it. Let's get it done.